I can't hear you. Are you talking? Unmute yourself. <laughs> I am I'm here, Lisa. Can you hear me? No. Yes, now, now I can. Yes. yes. Awesome. Oh, oh, Lisa, I can hear you too. All right, girls. Like, great. Uh, thank you for joining me. So I'm recording it. I'm so, so excited. Tons of uh, information. So uh, Lisa, she told me already, like, what her questions are. Vina, what's your goal in terms of social media? Because it's such a broad, uh, broad tool. And I would like you to look at it as a magic wand. That if you, like, you know, like magic wand with lots of buttons. So, like, the more buttons you turn on, the more lights it shines, the more magic you can create. So, but because there are so many of it, I would like you to be more specific. So, if you can just tell me what, what's your outcome in terms of uh, social media, then I can tailor for that. Okay, so I do not do TikTok, and I don't want to, just all the stuff I've heard about it. Yep. Um, so, I use Facebook and Instagram normally. Um, I use mostly Facebook. Yep. Um, and then I try to copy and paste what I do to Facebook to Instagram. Yep. Um, I really just want to create a lead generation, you know, so when I do post things like yep. this coaching group I'm trying to put together today, um, that I can get it out there and that there's a lot of followers. Like I've noticed that people that have like a hundred thousand followers, yep. um, they'll have like, you know, 3000 likes. Well, I have like 900 and something followers and I get like 23 likes. So, um, I don't really look like, I don't look at likes as like a popularity thing as much as I look at like, wow, they're seeing my content and who can they tell, Absolutely. you know? So, um, All right. and Let's I don't really understand about themes and stuff. I think everybody says, oh, there's a theme. And I'm like, what's a theme? Like, is everything supposed to be pink and purple? Like, I'm not sure. Perfect. So I'm going to share my screen. And, uh, and because I created like a pr presentation, so, and uh, I would like to start with the presentation and if you can let me know if you can see it. Can slideshow for example stuff. Can you see my screen now? No. Not right. yet. Not yet? All right, so I'm trying to, to share, I don't know why it doesn't, all right, I'll, I'll try again. You can see me now like, like my video, right? So I'm clicking on share the screen. PowerPoint. Open system preferences. Still nothing? No, I don't see anything yet. He's done nothing. He just left when I did all the video. Okay. And the video. Okay. So cute. Okay, so I don't know. All right, so that's done. So let's let's try again. So share the screen. Oh, cool. Now I go here. And I go here. Can you see it now? There we go. Yes. Perfect. All right, so here we go to presentation. We need it later. And now we go here. Like that. Play from the start. Can you see it now? Yes. But Popeye the foodie. I know that dog. Yes, it's a very famous Insta dog. And Lisa, yes, can you see Popeye the foodie. Dog? Can you see the background with big glasses? Yes. Yeah, so this is uh, basically the Insta famous dogs. And so what it is, so I just wanted to, just to let you know, like, because I did, I presuppose that people who come here, like they have like basically like zero understanding or zero knowledge, why they need to uh, even like use Instagram. So Instagram has got one over 1 billion uh, like viewers. And it's a very, very powerful tools. So you have two ways of using Instagram. So it's all about engagement. So you have your stories and your posts. So if, uh, uh, so here, uh, like, you know, basically I just write here, so the difference between stories and the post. 
So when you do your story, you can be funny, you can show backstage, you can tell exactly what's happening right now, and it will disappear in 24 hours. But when you uh, write a post, you can't be that negligent. So your post must look good. Your post must be like a theme, exactly what Vino was telling you. Uh, and I'll show you like as we go, like how it looks and how to use it. So uh, the difference, like we have uh, different, uh, uh, basically this is types of Insta account. You can be a blogger. Blogger just tells you about your life. You can be public. So public account, it means, for example, if I want to talk about conspiracy uh, series, I'll just talk about conspiracy. Or I can create a public account and talk only about dogs or only about Marilyn Monroe. This is public. Pro account, it's usually if you want to sell something. So if you're a coach, a trainer, if you have any sort of business. Also, you can have a shop which is total different settings and also a commercial account. Usually it's for manufacturing and big businesses. So the difference between business and personal, that's what Lisa was telling me. So like um, basically business account, they can contact you straight away. So they will have link to follow, to buy your, your coaching. Like they will have straight away the link you know, that call to action, and you can also see the analysis. You know, it's exactly what you were saying, the, the engagement. That's what Lisa Lieberman was telling you. It's pointless if you keep doing the information and people can't see you or only your followers will see you. And Instagram is very smart now. Instagram knows how, many, how much time people spend looking at your post. Instagram knows how much time people spend looking at your stories. So the more people like and comment and save your story and save your post, the more uh, the Instagram shows you more. So if you're inactive on your Instagram and you go, for example, uh, once a week, then what it does, it doesn't even show your own post to your own followers. You have zero visibility. Yeah. So that's why, you know, like uh, with a personal account, you can go like private setting. It's it's a high organic reach because you have to understand why Instagram, what is their mission? Their mission is basically they don't want to get bombarded with selling. They want to, uh, you know, they, they encourage you for good quality uh, content. Like for example, dogs with bow tie. So you can't afford yourself to post a picture when you're just holding the wall or holding to a curtain or when there is bad lighting. It, you know, it's, it's not forgiving. Because what happens if you post a picture that has bad lighting, low quality, the people don't want to see that. So they don't click on it. If they don't click on it, they don't read what's, what, what, what you wrote. And then you can't give, give your message out. So which is better than a personal account or a business account? So as you mentioned to me that you need to have a lead generation magnet and you need them to call to action and to sign up for your coaching. So you need to have a business account. Because business account that will, you can see, for example, which hashtags were working for you. Business account, you can see analytics, how many people organically came to your account. You can see how many people looked at your post. And then you can see what to do next. So two ways to use Insta. We have a post and a story. So uh, we have different- Wait, 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 wait. Can you, hold on a second. So how do you know if you have a personal or a business? It's in the settings. So you go to uh, your Insta. If, if you would like, if you have now your, um, if you have, you, can you open your Insta? You go to edit. Yeah, I did. Go to the settings. Okay. Right? Yeah. So, uh, and in the settings, now on your Instagram, it shows like in editing, like I'll go now. So you go to edit profile. And it will say cat category artist, uh, personal informational settings. And, and it says a page as well. Page. Just hold on, no, it's Instagram. Category. So that will say in the edit, in your profile, it should it tells you if it's a personal or a business account. Can you see that? No. Um, I, I went to my settings. Yep. But then it just says follow, invite friend, your activity, notification, business, privacy, security, ads, uh, account, no. help, and about. So you go to actual settings, settings. Mm. Okay. 
go to settings, settings exactly where you were on the very top settings again. And then on the very bottom, it says switch to personal account, switch to business account. Can you see that? Go all the way down. It's in, so it's, this is what I have. Do you see? Settings, account, click on account. Oh, account. Okay, thank you. That'll say switch to whatever you don't have. Okay, so it says switch to personal account. So apparently I have a business account. Do you do, do, you do too, Lisa? Um, I have personal accounts on, I do two. I have one for my dog, Rennie. She's got 410 followers. And then I've got my business account for my shirt business, and that one has 720. Um, I was in the process of switching to a, a professional account, a business account, but I was unclear about the advantages to that. So I stopped, and it keeps telling me that I need to finish my <laughs> switch up. Um, but I know the analytics are an advantage. Yeah, and yeah no, just see it. You can, you can, like on the business account, you can start your ads. Yeah. Uh, and also with a business account, you can, uh, uh, you can put your address, location, and a contact button. And it was, and, but the only thing, business account could be linked only to one page on Facebook, which, which should be your business page. With personal, right, and that's all with personal account, you, you can connect it to multiple pages. Yeah, I don't need that. I just want it connected to the... The business account so that's good yeah so like two ways we have to use instagram we can post and we can use stories now it's very important to see uh have a look at the stories can you see the types of the stories or oh, sorry type of the posts so you can use picture of a like a picture that will get engagement that can be a drawing it's very popular now that can be video, that can be, you know, like a video a story, and it could be a picture slide when you can put like five, six, seven pictures, or even two. The beauty of, of putting two, three pictures now, because if you put two pictures, so how Instagram look works at it, first they show you the first picture, and then if people like, then they will show your second picture for the, for the news feed. So this is just the strategies to use. And basically how you, um, how you do it, never ever ever put the video without the coverage because, or without the subtitles. So the subtitles, subtitles and the cover for the video will tell your followers what is it all about. And this is, I will explain you later, that's what when Vina you, may, uh, you can improve on. Because when I look at your Instagram page, I, uh, I need to see that it's a feedback. But for me personally, it's not clear, is it your child or is it somebody giving you a feedback or what this video is all about? I don't know, there is no subtitle. Right, there and no everybody is saying now that you need to put the captions with your video, right? So whatever you're speaking, yep. put the captions. Yes. Yep. But I cannot figure that out. I don't know how to do it, I'm it so today. lost. <laughs> I'll cover it today, I'll make it as easy as possible. So far, are we clear that these different type of, of posts that you can do? And, they, and, uh, and then look what happens next. So why you must do stories? So we covered the post, now we're talking about stories. Stories gives you, uh, they can, they basically, Insta consists 70% of just stories. Uh, so stories can be different. You can do live. It's pointless to do live, like if you just go live, because people don't know. It's better to say, hey guys, for example, on Sunday, on nine o'clock in the morning, I go live and I will cover this and this, or I'll talk about such and such, you can ask me questions. Or on live, I will like, if you have a product, you can say on like on nine, nine o'clock on Sunday, I will be telling you about my product, the advantages, disadvantages. So, and then in the story, there is a tool and I can show you how to do it. You can insert a countdown. So if they subscribe to it, it will remind them when you're going live. It will say, hey, two days left, one day left, and then you go live and you know, like, and it gives them a reminder. Also, you can use um, writing in the stories. Uh, you can use post and question, but it's, it's paramount. 
if you do any story or any post that must be called to action hi guys what's better black and white hi guys what do you think uh like if you agree you must always get them to act also why why do you need to do stories like if you do stories live and people can see it and they like oil for example you say hi guys like do you believe that you should punish your children yes or no you put the pose there on your story yes or no and people for example click yes or no if your cast your followers already click yes or no and 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 instagram can see it has an engagement only then it will show your post or your story to people who don't know you yet mm -hmm. only then also uh, like uh, this the uh, the beauty of the story they can see how you walk how you talk your tonality and they fall in love with you they become your raving fan because they can see your own unique style that unfortunately when you do the post and they can see the picture why i don't like majority of uh, why i disagree with hiring a marketing guru or somebody who does it for you because they make beautiful pictures they make beautiful writing but it's dead and they don't give you the feel of you and that's why you know you don't see much engagement it looks very plain jane so they might that's why you know i encourage to do more videos more stories go live talk about things that you like and then when they fall in love with you with you they don't care what you sell they just want you whether it's if you show if you just sell a t-shirt or a coaching session whatever it, um, it might be also uh, you can advertise your product via stories and people can pay you to advertise their product because like for example if you're coaching and you do for example you're coaching children they can see that and then and they can say hey you know we would like to pay you a couple of thousand dollars to advertise this kid's toy all you need to do you say hey you know i'm going live this is a toy da 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 da, da and they pay you to advertise it so never underestimate the power of the stories you actually can make money from it selling yourself and others and collaboration next so this is basically, this is your Instagram. What is very important to see that? On the very top, you can see you must be, you, you have your Insta name. You have, you have to, uh, you know, to say basically what you stand out for and you must have call to action, which you make in a tap link. So as soon as they look at it, they must, they must know where to go from now what you're selling what they can do if there is no call to action they are unlikely to stay also can you see how many um uh, so like with um how many categories are here and have a look all your posts you should divide into fun informational selling quote quest uh pictures and slides so and you must if if you won't take anything from this call today please do a monthly layout and to say for example hi guys like this is my co my monthly plan for my instagram this post is for fun this one is informational this is to sell and look what it does if you do an information and you have like a template please use only one template so then you have uh you know you have like uh um like a design and when you and when you write this post your intention set the intention i want people to save that or i want people to like that or i want people to comment and have a layout what do you want to do the monthly and also you can't put for example face 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 like ideally just think of of, of have a vision how you would like your instagram look and like if you have a face next picture could be half body the next picture could be full body and then you go with just the design template or have like the every design design template every third post or every fourth and then when it's just one background and it has like um it has like flowers or whatever it is you know like then they see it's a theme and that's what theme is and i'll explain and also your pictures they must have like they must use triggers one of the life hack i can share with you for example if you are just is somewhere and you hold like something that has a logo like mcdonald's it always captures attentions 
because people want to see what is it all about. The picture ha must have a character. Like yesterday, like, you know, you had this girl who is pulling your hair and like, I had enough. That's, that gets attention. It's like, wow, I want to know you, to, more, to know more. So if just a simple picture, like, you know, like uh, you're holding the wall or the curtain, it, it doesn't get attention. You have to have a balloon or flowers or like, you know, some bright colors. So people who don't know you, they're drawn to that picture. They want to click on it. And if they look at your whole Instagram, they, they, they want to get engaged. So uh, also, it's, it's if you have a big following, be mindful. If people who follow you follow more than 1,000 people, Instagram thinks that they are bots and they will re reduce your visibility. So never ever pay for followers, never ever uh, do it non-organically because it's actually then you will spend even more time to basically just to clean your account. So it's very important. And also that's what the competitors do. If they really want to give you, uh, you know, to, to reduce your visibility, they will block you or they will spam you. So, and then, then Instagram thinks that you're not like, you know, you're not doing the right thing and they reduce your visibility. So also when you do this story, always add your location, always use hashtags, but hashtags, they irritate people. So when you do this story, hide the hashtag. So what you do, you write the hashtags and I will explain the hashtags, minimize them and hide them either with color, which is the same color, or put them, make them so small that they are not visible. And also if you use uh, like something like a writing, always use the GIF that always like flickering, blinking and everything. And the GIF, I'll explain you in the stories, you go on the top, it's like a little square with a smiley face. So uh, add that flickering thing, especially now, if you, if you use stay at home gift right now, the Instagram wants to thank you for that and it will increase your visibility only by using stay at home gift. And you know, like, and add, yeah, so you go, you know, I can't hear you. I unmuted you. Yep, we know, go. Yeah, no, no, no. Okay, so um, if this is, this was part of like the COVID stuff I'm doing, right? Like to use physical distancing, not social distancing. So where would I put a GIF on that? Uh, is it a post or a story? It's a post. Right, now we're talking about stories. Okay, sorry, I'm confused. No and, worries. Now, okay. and now it's great. So you can, uh, you can put your, your post you send, you go now, uh, click on your post, click on the error, and it says add post to your story. Can you see that? You know, I need to unmute you because I can't hear you. I said, I just did it for the first time. I've never done a story. On, this is my first time doing a story. Congratulations! Celebrate! Stories are fun. Stories are fun. You, you were the one that, would, that told me that how what a must stories were, and I can tell when I'm doing stories consistently, when I'm posting consistently, but especially stories, it makes such a difference in the engagement that the whole account gets. Okay. Right. I love it. Yes. So now you can see on the very top on the story, it's a square with the smiley face. Yeah, I did it. I did a GIF. I did stay at home. Right. And then now like you did a GIF, you can also write uh, like, hey guys, I have a new post. If you put a GIF new post, it starts blinking. So you go on the smiley face again, and you, you, can, you can type GIF or you can see GIF, you tap on GIF and you just type new post and you will see it starts shimmering. Vino, I can't hear you. Sorry, I said somebody, I was trying to give somebody the link to get in because they're trying to get in. Okay, so do what, so go to my story. Yes. Now you, what? Can, you can see the GIF, GIF, 
click on GIF. Can you see GIF? Um, so that's what it looks like now. Yes. Right? Like the story has the stay at home. Oh, I click on it. See post. No. Yes. I don't know. Highlight. I, Do I want to highlight? Where are you now, Vino? I wish you could see you could see your screen. I'm on my store. I'm I'm st on my story. No, you're right? not on so your story. I no, Vino, that's not your story, honey. The this is maybe can you minimize the picture no this is not your story go on the picture on the post now send on the arrow and it says add to my story yes is it did right you... i did it have a look if you go to my can instagram the inspires my... yeah can you see add to my story Here, um, your story, three seconds more. I could share it, save it. I'll just wait to, I don't understand. All so right. I, I'll stay with you after. I'll just go through the content okay. and I'll stay with you after just to, uh, just to show you how to do the story, all right? Okay, thanks. So now next, what we are doing. Just, um, I don't know why it's all right. Let me go here. Oh, yep, I get checky. Yep, got it. All right, awesome. So we finished. Oh, I think. Yep, I got it. Don't know. Yes. Uh huh. We done this. Done. Done that. That. So now have a look. Can you see now? Like I have three profiles. I have Tony Robbins. I have Catalina, and I have Marie Boucher. Yeah. So can you, uh, can you see here what I wanted to say? Very important. Look at Tony Robbins, how he's got this emoji. And it says like, and the nation best selling strategies, boom, entrepreneur, boom, business leader, boom. So with Catalina, she says transformational coach and strategist. So it doesn't work like that because this is uh, some certain rules, how to make your head, head lighting. So that should have you see how like uh, Catalina, she has got her LinkedIn. LinkedIn, usually it's, uh, it's uh, unless you have a selling page there, but people unlikely to go to LinkedIn. But you know, like it's better to say, for example, my school or my coaching. And, you, and then you have the call to action in the head of your, um, of your head. So and, plus, and use emojis. So that's very important as you can see on the others. And also you can see, um here uh so the the may the, the may the most important thing think about the head letter the head it's what what it says about you it should be like we know you have a great one i would work with catalina's one you like it should it should definitely tell people what do you do that is different from others it should be like something something like captivating next here we have vino joseph and me can you see, uh, Vino, like with Joseph, you see these little circles under the Joseph. And you see with my, it's also little circles. When it says, for example, Joseph, magnetic shop, a GM books and, and, and so on. Why this is important? So I wouldn't put, uh, like I would put there a category that says feedback. So when people can see this circle that says feedback, they click on that feedback, and they see all your feedbacks in one go. And it's very important. So how you do it? You put your, your feedback in a story first, and then you will save it as a highlight under the circle. And I can, I'll, I'll stay back with you, and so we can do that today. So then you can, so we can create categories that are important. For example, with my face, uh, with my Instagram, you can see I have feedback, I have family, I have my books, I have bodybuildings. Like uh, Joseph, he's got like events, books, shop. So you must create these categories. So then people they go straight there. And also with with Vino, with you, can you see you have a lot of videos, but it's not clear. 
whether it's your child, whether, uh, whether it's your client's child, you know, like, oh, what this post is about. So there is no clarity. That's why I suggest you start, you know, like, and I will show you how to put the cover on top of your video so people know why they should go and watch it. So can, can you see here? So we have the first lady, she basically, she's teaching you elegance uh in they said you can be elegant with any budget that's her theme what i like about her can you see that when she has writings they all have the same background and it's all the same color it's all the same color it's all cool like a cool beige yeah can you see the catalina's one not to say better or worse no comparison but hers seems like very busy so if you are to write for example ice bath or what, whatever quote it is use one font one color so instagram is not forgiving because like now you're competing with so many good instagrammers so they wouldn't forgive you for you see with catalina the picture is also cutting out so you can't even read fully so that's very important so you have and i will tell you all the apps you have to click their app that um that my favorite app is over and create a size for Instagram post. So all your writing would be fitted in a, in a picture. So, and you, can you see like her, uh, like with this lady, her pictures are really high quality. So I, I would suggest to Catalina and to all of you, so you can see that Catalina is sharing um, the, um, the IGTV. And you can see the guitar, a couple of faces, but we don't know what is it all about, you know like what are they talking and you know i'm unlikely to click on it but if you would have a high quality picture of something then i would go and and i have a look at it go further how to use writings on the pictures so you can use writings and have like um and be creative with that you can you use writings like for example like that or like for example like what what instagram loves it's pictures before and after for example, like Vino would be a great example. You can put a happy child and unhappy child. And on an unhappy child, you can write, for example, where parents are yelling, parents like all the mistakes of the parents, and you put a big cross. And then, for example, you can put a green tick, like for example, of a happy child and what parents do uh, have to do. Something like that. It doesn't have to be, uh, but it should be like, you see this picture of the girl, one is skinnier, another one is uh, like bigger. But still, like you see the tick and the cross, and it, it's how we build. We just want to see what's the difference. So like I suggest you using picture collages to put two pictures and to identify the difference because that gets people engaged. They want to see what's the difference. And here on the, uh, on the bottom, can you see how creatively they use the writing? So you can insert the writing even on the picture on the chairs, like freely satisfied, unemployed. So be creative, but every post I ideally should have some message that people know what is it all about. And when you also do a layout for a month, you can, you can say, hey, this post is going to be for fun. I want people to like it. This post is going to be for, um, you know, for education. I want people to save it and to comment on it. But with this outcome, you know, then you can see analytics that, that why business account is really good for. You can see what worked, hashtags or, or picture or engagement and, and, so, and so forth. And I'll, uh, so here on, on this picture, what it, what it is. Can you see on here, uh, the last one, the, the middle one, it's my picture. And you can see on the picture, I have my little logo and my, uh, my ad. So when people, for example, uh, when Mike follows engage and Instagram is saying me, thank you for engagement, then they show my post to other people. And people, when they get used to you as a brand, if they could see, you know, like an interesting brand, interesting logo, they are likely to go and see all oh, like, what is it all about and what to do. So, and pictures, usually they should have some, some theme. For example, you can see the, the girl fell out from, uh, from the private jet, like, or something like, or like people are crossing. Like every, also you have to know, uh, pictures ideally should be vertical, not horizontal because that, that it just the Instagram, that's what gets attention. 
and something that, that makes them comment going forward. So how often you should post? Ideally, you should, you should do a post once a day, but not more often than between four hours. Because if you do a post and then another post, then the second post will get the likes that ideally should belong to the first post. So if you do posting once a day or at least four hours in between them, otherwise you will reduce your likes. Uh, stories ideally daily and that, and stories will help you to grow your followers more than anything else. I just can't emphasize it enough. So can you see, the more, the more you post on Instagram, the more likes you get. And also the more you post on Instagram, the faster your following grows. Have a look in just this analytics. So that's why it's so, so important to do it daily. So ideally you will do one story, one post. It should be like, you know, quick, sweet, short, whatever it is, but activity is rewarded because the more you, you're absent, they are basically the, um, the less you, you're visible. Also, so how can you engage people? You can engage people by, by following. So now, if you just add stay, a stay home GIF to every story, that will increase your visibility. If you hide your hashtags, I will explain you how to use hashtags. Also, if you use quest games or stories, for example, you can use like, for example, um, I have a client and he's got a challenge. How would you solve this challenge? People love that. Or if it's a business, for example, like, you know, like what, what happens, you know, like why do you need this product? Like, you know, and tell them a story of, of a person who, you know, who benefited from that story and how he did it. Also, if you try to make it perfect, you know, like, um, then, then you, you'll, never, you'll never get it right. So I suggest you post, observe, and then never delete your post. Always archive. There is like, when you go on a post and you click on three buttons and you go to archive, so then, um, then it, it just hides it. But if you delete it, that Instagram reduces visibility. Uh, also, of, of like you can get uh, basically uh, like you always have to look free followers you get with a, uh, uh -huh. your followers can see and feel what you feel if they if they can see you're not enjoying it they feel it if, if you can just share with them your joy with no expectations it's contagious so like i would like you to to look at it it's like you know like before you go on instagram get in state that's paramount. When you get in state before Instagram, Jackie, do you want to ask a question or are you just stretching? <laughs> so get in state and think, uh, what would you like, you know, to share with them today on a story? Just a quick life hack, quick something. So, uh, and, and the more you do it, the more you get them engaged. So next. Uh-huh. This is just free strategies how to, uh, you know, how to use it. I would like to maybe to, uh, to invite you, like if we all trainers will follow each other, our followers would see that we follow each other. And also, for example, we can do uh, like, you know, like if Vino is going live on Instagram for parents, I can say it in my story. Hey guys, uh, please subscribe to Vino because every Sunday she's doing this. And then my followers will see that, Lisa's followers will see that, even if it's not related, those who want it, they come to you. So collaboration between us as a trainers, that will organically grow your followers. The more, because my followers, they're very loyal. And like, if I say, hey, Vino will be amazing, they will go to you. So it, uh, and also how can we do it for, like, that's what exactly I said, call to action in every post. So for example, yeah. So um, one of the things that um, Allison Ward did like a couple years back is that she had like 15 of us mm -hmm. and every day we would like go and post on each other's comment on each other's, mm -hmm. but then something happened with Instagram where they were like seeing that people were doing that. And so then we just kind of stopped. So can you just comment a little bit about that? Because you said like if us trainers follow each other, that's great. It'll grow organically. Um, 
but when you get certain people like, hey, keep commenting on my stuff or liking my stuff, I mean, do you see a difference? Like, is there rules about that? Uh, well, the thing is, Instagram is very, very smart now. It can see because before you can buy comments and you can buy likes. So that's why Instagram can like can see and I can see and you can see if they are fake comments. For example, if the picture of a crying child and somebody is commenting good stuff, you know it's a bot. So and that's uh, and you know like but and now so like it can see like if for example your followers or whoever comments on you has got more than one thousand people they follow, you can just ask them, hey, can you please unsubscribe and have at least, least less than 999? Because otherwise, Instagram would think you're a bot. So ideally, you shouldn't be following more than like 900 people. Okay, uh, and uh, I went to Russian language. And, and that's why like now, especially with the stories, like you can tag each other, highlight each other. Actually, now Instagram is rewarding it. Or you can do, for example, a flash mob. For example, I will say, Vino, I dare you to go no makeup, no filter in the morning and say, hey, I love myself anyway. And you put like, I participate in a flash mob with Anastasia, like no filter in the morning. And then I say, hey, now I nominate Jakey. No filter in the morning and I still love myself. And you And we can create our own hashtag. For example, love, morning and then uh, the more people use this hashtag the more traffic you get to yourself and then you know they start doing it and it's like a trend and they call it a flash mob like you can also collaborate with bloggers who have got more followers and there are three ways for example you can pay, pay the money and uh, and they do like a giveaway like for example like six people participate you know like and then they have a big price and people have to follow you but I wouldn't suggest it unless the blogger has got your audience because people would subscribe, but then they would unsubscribe. That's why it's so important to have your, uh, your, your page in a beautiful way layout because if people, you know, if I see your story and I really like it and I go to your account and I really like it and I will subscribe, then I won't unsubscribe because nobody forced me to do it. I actually wanted to. And so you have to think how your Insta looks so people want to not only to come, but to stay because they could see on every post writing, for example, what to do or how to do. They can see straight away, you know, the, the beautiful design and what are you all about. So that, that, that's very important. And also like for you, especially for every coach, it's very important to have these circles and to have the, the feedback. So they click on feedback, they see all the feedback. Some people even create a special, special Insta page and they say feedback only. And they pose it just the feedback. It's also just one of the ways to, uh, you know, to, to attract followers. And also you can, uh, you can uh, give away prizes and participate. For example, hey guys, I'm offering my free coaching session for those who will solve the riddle or whoever will give me the best solution. Or I will give you like, uh, you know, like uh, an advice or something. Also, on the story, you know, and I'll tell you, it's a beautiful way for coaches. Ask me a question. People ask you a question and you write on a story and that's how you get them engaged. And then you can see every story, you know, un undo yourself. Yeah, sorry. Okay, notice how like, um, like Tony Robbins and even Juan Bandana had like the different colors around their face, the circle. Yeah. Yep. They have like the Instagram colors. Yep. And, and then some people don't have that. What does that mean? So, well, uh, uh, like, uh, you, can you see that Tony Robbins, he's got a tick. It's like a blue tick. That means he's a verified celebrity, sort of to say. Right. But like, do you see around Juan's picture? <laughs> yeah. So you can like that basically, and you see the blue, uh, the, so you, you can fake it. So I can, you can send me your picture. I will just give you that circle, and then when you when you um, when you upload it, it will have just little pink circle. So that's very easy to do. Okay. So uh, also, I forgot to tell you. Please don't ever put the picture that has half of you on Instagram. People don't like that. It should be your profile shot, and it should be only clear and just your face looking forward. Like 
it's, it's very rare when the profile looks good, but usually it's better just full front, open eyes looking in the camera, not sideways, not, not, not down, straight to the camera and just a headshot, but very clear, good, good quality one. Like Tony Robbins one, you can see it's a, it's a professional headshot. With Catalina, I wouldn't be using that headshot. It's too dark, it's too blurry, and you can't really see her. What so, about mine? Mine was a professional one, is it okay? No, yours one is a professional. We would just like add the pink circle. Just, just to have that stri striking look. So go going further. So this is all the apps that you can use to, to generate hashtags. You just can download any of the apps, text, textagram, and for example, how you use hashtags. So hashtags, it's, it, it's basically, it's like a new, I can speak weeks only on how to use hashtags. And unfortunately, there is no such a school as an Instagram official school. Whoever is teaching you Instagram, they just share with you, like they mentor you. For example, hey guys, we've done this, it worked for us. But what worked for them, not necessarily will work for you. That's why I, when I hired two people, they were fighting with each other because they were studying Instagram in two different, um, in two different schools. And because they, they had like in two different schools, <laughs> yeah, check it. Uh, because they studied in two different schools, they had two different approaches. And because they have two different approaches, they were disagreeing with each other. So that's how I started looking at what works for me. And, and, like, and for me, it was just a proven thing. So how you do it? You go to Textagram and you know, for example, think about your client. Remember like Lisa told us, I have a Samantha, she's my client. So think about that frustrated parent who doesn't know what to do, what they're likely to search. So whatever they're likely to search, that would be your hashtags for, uh, that you use. And also don't use the hashtags that for example has uh, like visibility one million or, or above, you will get lost. So you need hashtags and I'll explain you how you use them. For example, here, look, uh, can you see the first, the first put? For example, I put a cat. Can you see the, the cat, the hashtag cat, has 201 million, 201 million posts only for the post hashtags. What is your like, what is like ability of people to see your cat? Zero to none. So then you can see, like we can see cats of Instagram has 128 million, then cats uh, 99, 4 million. And then, you know, the, the, you go down and you can see less and less uh, thousands of people who are Googling this hashtag. So please don't use hashtags more than nine. Nine, it's a maximum. So when you use nine hashtags, you start with the list, for example, with like a couple of thousand, then you go 10,000, then you go 200,000, then you go 300,000, 500,000. And then also you can, you can use this hashtags apps for ideas. For example, if, you, if the pain for like, for like, for example, parenting tips, hashtag. If you put parenting tips, the, these apps would generate you the likable hashtags that people are searching. They will just give you some ideas. And then you can also create your own set of hashtags that you know that they work for you. And please be mindful, if you write them and these hashtags works, work, delete them after four days so your competitors are not following your lead. Because what people do, you can go to a professional coach, see what hashtag, like, or coach with 1 million followers, you can see what hashtags they are using, you can copy them and use them at your advantage. And by doing that, you increase your visibility. So for example, by, like, be mindful of, um, don't use coaches with 1 million hashtags like views. Just use the hashtags that have like less visibility. And then if you go on the post, it's a third picture, you can basically see uh, the post insights. You can see, for example, profile visits, 32, reach, 87. And then here you can see your impressions from home, from hashtags. And that's how you can see if, if, if your hashtags were effective or not. And then you can always change them. So it's basically, it's, it's a game of trial and, er and error. So how you see post insights? Every post, like under, would have a blue writing 
see inside. Click on that and see and see how is your engagement. So that's why when I collaborate with, with bloggers, I always ask them, can you please send me your engagement screenshot? Because some people, they have 90,000 followers, but they would have like 200 engagements. So I know that they, their account is fake or like they have lots of fake followers and it's not active. And that's what you can see. Some people, they would have 90,000 and only like five likes and two comments. That's because they bought these followers. So would, like you wouldn't collaborate with somebody who doesn't have the good rate of engagement. So ideally, like if you can see a $20,000, 20,000 followers account, the engagement should be in thousands. So like you see post and sites, post and sites. I can see how many posts were forwarded, how many people saved my post, how many people commented and how many people liked. I'll just check now the chat. The red circle around profit means they have recently posted the story. Oh, great, Jackie. Thank you. All right, going forward. Here. Okay, so how do you see that? The um, How many people forwarded your stuff? How many people liked it? Like, how do you okay. see? So can you, can you go on your post right now? And you can see under, okay. under the picture, it says view insights. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Perfect. Yeah. Thank view you. Insights. And now on the view insights, you can see two comments like likes, and how many people forward, how, how many saved, right? Now I view insight. Sorry. Where does it stay view insights? So if I go onto my profile yep. and I go to a photo. Yep. You can you see click on any of your posts and right under it says view insights, the blue one. Mine doesn't say it. Anyway, that's okay. It doesn't matter. What's your account, Hans? Jackie underscore Holt. I mean, it's not a business account. It's just a, this one's just my private account. Ah, so. no, personal account doesn't have analytics. We we covered it in the beginning. So, by the okay, way, this is that's okay. I'll go to I'll go to one. I'll go to my business account and I'll look there. Yeah. So on the business account, you can see it. Now have a look um, at story writing. How we write the stories. Can you see the difference between how Catalina writes her post and how, like my one is in Russian, but the idea is, can you see that I have paragraphs and I have like, uh, you know, like a circle, circle and exclamatory mark and, and things like that. So when you write a post on Instagram, it doesn't give you paragraphs. It, it, it basically jams everything. And people now are so fussy, they don't want to read it. So how, and also like the, the biggest mistakes uh, Catalina is using, she's, she has got no spaces between hashtag and her writing. If you don't have a space, so you have hashtag, word, then you must put space. Otherwise, uh, Instagram doesn't recognize it. So basically you're just wasting your time and your hashtags are not working. So you must have hashtag, word, space. And um, uh, also you can see, the, um, the, um, like you can see that she put like a link, the link is not active, so she can't really use it because there is no space again. And so how do you, how do, you do the paragraphs? So you get the telegram, it's like WhatsApp. You just add yourself to text for Instabot and you put there your text, click send, and it just sends you back uh, a text with all the spaces and like, you know, so it's very easy to read. And it's, it, it, it's so simple. So get Telegram app, it's like WhatsApp. Then you add yourself to text for Instabot. And then, um, and, and then you, you do paragraphs, you do emojis. Uh, like, you know, in the, at the beginning of, of your, don't, don't, don't do too many emojis, maybe not more than five. Otherwise it looks like a kid's book, like a children's book. But you know, like four or five at least. And, and, and then, you know, they're very easy to read and people like that. All right, next. So apps to, apps to Strive. So like you can download long story, pocket video, Insta short, story art, over. And you can also record your screen from your phone and upload that. And also you can see the app, CC Mix Captions. This app gives you subtitles. 
well, for whatever video you just put it in make sure you speak clearly and then it gives you as, as subtitles also if you would like to cut out your face or your body from the picture you just go to www.remove.bg you upload your picture there and you and it will just give you just your face picture collage this is the app to use to combine two pictures together also my favorite are apps are story art so you please don't pay for that i don't so i go there and if it says that it's locked i still do my picture collage there and i then i save it on my camera and i just cut the bottom so you don't need to pay for anything and also the most amazing app i can't like my favorite it's over with the app over you can do videos and pictures you can do stories for Facebook and for Instagram. So if you don't get any of these apps, basically the app over does it all. In the long story app, you can blend videos. Uh, Pocket video, it's, uh, it's also, it's, it, it's a beautiful app to, to create videos. In, in, the, in the Insta shot, what you can do. So in the Insta shot, you upload your video and it gives you a frame. And you can also type, for example, uh, like, um, parenting tips and so they could see your video they could see the frame and you can write on it and it's so easy to use to use so like you know, like like my three favorite insta shot uh it's for videos to make videos you can put music there you can use everything story art to create beautiful stories over and uh, the cc mix and captures that's my 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 favorite by far no just wait story writing and we are not covering TikTok uh, so what else and I think I probably covered everything and now I'm ready so I'll stop sharing and now I'm, I'm ready for your pictures or oh, not pictures questions so I have a bunch but I am going to off of this I'm gonna I'll just what WhatsApp you yeah. Um, because I, I, I need some help. <laughs> I, I, ha I have a question in the meantime, and, and I, I would probably be the same as you, Vinny, but I'll just ask, oh my God, I've got so many pages of notes from our last call. Insta TV. So I don't use Instagram a lot personally. Like I have a personal account and every now and again, if I pretty much want to have a message going out to my son's friends that's where i put it otherwise i tend to be mostly on facebook it's just sort of been what i've been comfortable with and i i just didn't want to get overwhelmed with trying to be on multiple platforms when i do post something to instagram i generally just share it to facebook and then i often just go into facebook and have to edit it because it doesn't always look exactly as i wanted it to but um what's i do a lot of video and my videos are always more than one minute 99.9% .9 of the time longer than one minute and I under before it used to be that you couldn't have videos one one minute Above one minute on Instagram, but I see everyone's using this insta TV and it's probably been there for a long long time And I have had no idea but could you just explain to me What that is because I see people also doing like Claudio was doing a live Insta TV on his feed the other day and then it got shared to his Facebook and I was like, okay, that's clever so I was just wondering if you could explain that, please. So IGTV, it's the general rule, it's for videos that are less than 10, 10 to 15 minutes. You can do even one hour. So like if you have something quick to share, like a one, one minute, so you can do a post. But if it's longer than one minute, then you do IGTV. And also with IGTV, please use this any of the apps or use the cover uh, that will say, what is it all about? And then you can share it on Facebook Live. So IGTV, it's a beautiful platform for, uh, for uh, uncovering any topic. Whatever you teach, whatever you want to say, however you want to get your message across, use IGTV. But if you want to sell something, we sell usually just using 30-second stories. And also, if you are selling something, you're not putting any hashtags. So you just put like a clear video on your story, and then you can click on promote, then you pay money, and then, and then it sells. But it's very important, so you don't add any gifts, any hashtags, anything when you are selling. So, and so, I, how do, so yeah. going on to IGTV, how do you do that? Sorry, this is like really uh, too basic for this call. 
Oh, yeah, IGTV. So basically, you can record video on your phone, and then oh. you go on Instagram, and then you click uh, plus, and then you add, and then it shows you like, and then it will prompt you itself. Add as IGTV, because if you add as a post, it will cut it one minute. If you add as IGTV, it will save the whole video. And then you, it will uh, again ask you, please add okay. thumbnail. And then you add thumbnail. So like you're know. writing all about, cover. that is the cover. Yeah. Cover, JP, very important. If uh, like cover, if you, it, it must be IGTV format. Because if it's a cover, if it's just a message, usually IGTV cuts it. So, okay. so, so do the cover in the, like, uh, for example, you go to over. In over, yeah. it would say um, Instagram story format, Instagram post. So you click the story format and then you save it as a story format and use that as a cover for your IGTV, for IGTV video. Okay, cool. Thank you. Yeah. What else? So, Anastasia, you would use one of the apps that you posted to make the videos in the stories that go from one 15 second chunk blend right into the next? Yep, absolutely. And okay. then basically the app that you are going to use to blend it, it's a called um, Cut Story for Instagram Stories. Cut story? Cut okay. story for Instagram stories. Got it. And then I have another question. Um, so if I have a couple of businesses, it's just so many, like it's so many different accounts. Like, you know, I, th I see a lot of people creating their personal, which has got their, their business blended through. Um, What's your opinion on that? Like, you know, it seems to be like it's a different, it's a different target market. I can't blend them into one because the target's different. So if my two businesses or, you know, my personal and my, sorry, someone's just cutting the grass next door. Um, the personal account and my business account, it's sort of two separate things. Do you try to bring your business into your personal or you try to make it one account or you just keep two separate accounts and just deal with that? Well, if you think about it, you have two different avatars of a client, right? So my question is, does your business, does your two businesses complement both? So if, for example, one business has Sally as an avatar and another business has John as an avatar, so the business who has got Sally as an avatar of a client, can it add value to John and vice versa? Yeah, probably not. Because if they complement each other, then you can send John to one business and sell it to another business. But if they don't, yeah. I wouldn't be mixing yeah. them. I would be just focusing and targeting that niche. Okay, thank you. Anything else? And I would like also to make this workshop as a doing workshop. So whenever you add, you know, like, uh, you know, like, uh, just tell me like, what you would like to do right now on your Instagram. So maybe it could be a story, maybe it could be a post. And so like, we can do it like, Jackie, have you ever done a story? Yeah, I mean, I've done stories and I've done posts and videos and stuff like that. And I have, you know, a brand coloring and, and tile that I use when I do quotes and stuff like that for my business. So I do do that. Um, sorry, the guy's right next door with the, the mower. Um, my my thing I need to do before is really decide who my avatar is because with the current changes as well, things have slightly changed. So I need to redirect to what content I'm putting out there because anything I put out there now is just sort of putting out there for the sake of putting out there as opposed to actually being targeted to a, with a specific objective to a specific avatar. So my, my target right now, my to-do, we right now is actually really recreate and get very crystal clear on my avatar and I picked that up from your call today and also from the call we had prior to this which is just get crystal clear on that. Right 
and understanding their points and what are they searching because it's interesting like when one of the girls was suggesting me to write as my hashtags uh, suicide depression i'm like my client my, my ideal avatar they wouldn't write that my ideal avatar are you know writing success you know like inspiration you know like that's who my deal my, my ideal avatar is addicted to growth they want more yeah a little bit like what lisa said was sell them what they what they want not what they need you know and i yeah, i sort of say you know sell them the melted cheese and give them the broccoli when they get there kind of thing so i think that that's that's important to um to get clear on what their melted cheese is so that that's what we're giving them. And even if they are suicidal or depressed and they need that, that's not what they're going to say, say out loud. That'll come once you, you know, go behind the, the, the hunger for success, let's say. Absolutely. Because every single uh, male client who came to me to improve their business or to grow their business, I ended up fixing the relationship first. Because that's something yeah, that they don't want to talk about it. That's something that they're hiding. That's something they don't want to go there because it's a pain. Yeah. 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 No, that's great. Lisa, Lisa and Jackie, do you have any more questions? Because if, if you don't, I can just go with Vino, just like how to do the story. No, I'm, um, I don't have any more questions. I have lots of notes and um, I'm going to go, but I might come back to if that's okay. Once yeah. I've got very clear, then I might come back to you. Just text me, shoot me a message, send me, uh, send me a message and say, hey, you know, like, let, let's do this together. Or how do you do that? Or what, like, let's get like, you know, let's work on my hashtags. Let's see visibility. Let's do analytics. And I'll be there. Like, we'll just do it together. Thank you. But then I look, you do have a circle, colored circle. I don't know if you can see that, but you have a color colored circle on my, when I look you up. You just posted two yeah. stories. That's why that circle appears. Why is that? The circle appears when you have posted to your stories. So anybody with who has that circle, it means that they recently posted to their stories. Lisa, I didn't know that. Thank you for that. While we were talking. What? I didn't know I Googled that. Thank you for that. I'm like, yeah, let's fake it. Let's just like do it in the in the in the Photoshop. Yeah, I Googled it while we were on the call here. So um <laughs> Yeah, so my action items, I'm going to finish switching my business account to a business account mm -hmm. and then um, make my monthly plan, which I have kind of in my head, but it's not actually on paper or on the computer. It's, I've, I have a, a, a plan that I do my Monday posts, my Wednesday posts, but if I have it all laid out in front of me visually, I think it'll be much easier and um, better and quicker to do. And also make sure, yeah, they, they you know, like the, visually, first of all, the layout, for example, picture, picture, quote, picture, picture, quote. And then when it's a picture, picture, face, headshot, like full body, like, and also like, and l also add there, like, this is, this post is going to get the most likes. This post, I want them to save. This post, I want them to comment. And you know, like include that in your in your like monthly layout. Okay, cool. Um, yeah, so, you, uh, oh, go ahead, Jackie. I'll just ask a question if she can answer it. I have to, I have to, just so much noise right next to me. How do you go from converting from a personal to a business? I'm sorry, is that at the beginning of the call? Should I just go back and watch that? No, no, no. That's very easy. You just go in your settings. Look. So you go on your edit profile. I oh, know you see here on the top, it has three buttons, like three, three lines. You go to three lines. You go to three lines and then on the very top, it says settings again, right? Can you see that? You click on the settings and on the very, you click on the settings and then you go to account. And after settings on account, on the very bottom, it says switch to business, switch to personal. Can you see that? Yeah, I see it on yours. It's not coming up on mine, but I'll have a play. So, well, first of all, just follow the steps. Three lines. After three lines, click on settings. After settings, you click on account. And on the very bottom, you will see that.
When you say three lines, you mean those three little dots to the right hand side of the name of my the account page. on the very top. Can you see three lines? It's in the upper right hand corner. This yeah. one. Yeah, so I've got this. I don't know the if you can three see dots. that. Three, three, dots. Dots. There's three dots. Three dots. So I click that and it doesn't have the option you're telling me. It says restrict, block, report, hide your story, remove follower, copy profile, share this profile. Is that your account that you're looking at? You've got to yes, go to the... not, I, I might be logged in as, because I've got three accounts, so I might be logged in as another one. So that's a good point, Lisa. I'll just probably have to go back and log in as myself. Yeah, because it looks like you're actually looking at somebody else's page there. Yeah. What, from what you showed on your on your. Yes, screen. it's true, because now when I go back in, now it's three lines, not three dots. Okay, good. thank you. Thank you. So what I'm doing is um, I'm going to post every day, but um, I am actually already have a message to you on WhatsApp that I'm getting ready to send to you um, just because in 12 minutes we have another call <laughs> for the confident confidently group. Um, so, and I've been back to back calls like you have Anastasia. Right so now, I, quite frankly, I, I know I really appreciate you, Anastasia. Um, again, I'm just going to WhatsApp you. And uh, so we can finish this. So, and if you can commit, let's let's do 10 days of our accountability bodies. So 10 days, I'll just like every day we'll do stories and every day I'll teach you something new, what, what to add to a story. And then you'll just get the gist of it. So before every story you want to post, let's just hop on a call quickly. It will take us like two to five minutes and, and you'll say, hey, this is a story I want to post. And I said, let's do this and this. And for 10 days, we'll do something different with your stories. How does that sound? And also, the, the, it seems to me that the key with Instagram especially is consistency, that they reward consistency, consistency of posting, consistency of stories. Yeah. The more I post, the more engagement I seem to get. So, yeah. so um, that's huge. And I'm committed to doing it consistently every day, every day. I will be, but I'm not ready yet. I think I want to redo my Instagram and I want to get it to where I want it to be. Um, Cause I don't want to just keep adding the stuff that's not productive to what I want to do. Um, you gave a lot of great information. And so now I know it's time. I just kind of do a whole facelift. And um, so you've given me a great opportunity um, and with your guidance and help, I'm sure I will come up with a great Instagram and um, then yes, I will be ready to do a challenge. Awesome. Me too. Thank you, Anastasia. That was amazing. So much information. Really appreciate it. I look, I'm going to go back and have to watch it again because you gave so much info. I'm like, I can't write that fast. And Thank all you. the apps, I didn't even know were available. Those apps to do like uh, putting the... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Oh, you're amazing. Thank I love you, you Anastasia. All right. Thank, thank you, guys. Thank you. Love you, Lisa. Bye. Love you.